There we were, heading east across the Atlantic Ocean, stowaways on a giant airborne fortress. Though time was short, we made sure to study up on our unknowing host, Arpeggio. While attending a prestigious boarding school, the young Arpeggio excelled in all subjects, but he never managed to keep up with the other boys physically. Sadly, his wings, due to their small size, were useless for flight. Furious at his feeble body, he focused his powerful mind to search for a cure in the works of the Italian Renaissance masters. Their notebooks provided the springboard for this sinister young genius, and it wasn't long before the claw gang took him on as chief inventor. His talents must have been at work repurposing all the clockwork parts for their criminal schemes, and now this mastermind is in possession of all the parts. It's only a matter of time before he puts them back together and when that happens, well, I'm not going to let that happen. Sly Cooper and the gang in Anatomy for Disaster. Psychic pictures here, and that was cheap. Now, ah, welcome back to Sly Two Band of Thieves. Ah, all right, let's get going. Whole new area, whole new way to screw up. Alright. I can never find my way my way around this place, and I already messed up. Good, I'm on my way. Don't waste any time here, Sly. Get to the blimp and take some recon photos. To build the plan, we need to know how close they are to reviving clockwork. Relax, Bentley. I've got it under control. <sighs> this is bad. Uh, for those of you on my regular channel, clockwork was an extremely powerful uh, villain. And for those of you on my Let's Play channel, well, I think I said Let's Play channel, but I meant my regular channel. Um, on my Let's Play channel, you probably don't know that. How much of a threat Clockwork was. I, I had no idea they could reassemble Clockwork so fast! Calm down, Bentley. He might be in one piece, but he doesn't appear to be, you know, alive. Let's stick to the format here. How about some recon photos? You're right. We need to be informed to create a plan of action. Try to get a shot of Clockwork's head, a mech egg, and one of those spinning magnetic inducers. They seem important to the procedure, but stay away from the guards. If you get detected, we won't have time for a second chance. 
All right. Whoa, I forgot that there was a guard there. But there's a lot more to do in this one than you would actually think. <clears throat> I'm sensing radioactivity from inside those mech eggs. I wouldn't get too close. That one's the one that's most tedious because that guard is right there. pocket because there's a key that we need. Clockwork appears completely inanimate. We still might have a chance. Sly, I'm detecting voices from the front of the blimp. I think it's Arpeggio. Neela? Neela's here too! I can't believe it! She must have been working with Arpeggio all along! There he is! The mastermind behind this blimp and the source of all our problems! I don't need to study those photos to see the writing on the wall. Clearly, Neela and Arpeggio have conspired together to rebuild Clockwork. And it looks like they're dangerously close to realizing their goal. Look, Bentley, I know it's not your style, but I need a quick plan of attack. Try to think of a way, any way, to stop Clockwork from getting reassembled. Well, those magnetic inducers seem to be holding the parts together. If you reverse their polarity, it should pull clockwork apart. Unfortunately, the inducer speed control station is locked down tight. Pickpocket keys from the four patrolling guards to get at it. Then you'll need to manually reverse the polarity of each inducer deck at the top of their rotation. Consider it done. All right. So we actually have a job to do other than take recon photos this time. Speed control key. Uh oh, someone heard that. Steal your key. There we go. Uh oh. Steal your key. Boom! And this guy doesn't know anything. There we go. Now get to the speed control station to slow down the spinning inducer. Alright. Slow down the spinning inducers. There we go. Now that the inducer decks are spinning slower, get up there and reverse the polarity of each deck. All right, Bentley, you the boss. I'm not going to be able to reach this one. There's the next one. <sighs> oh, 
All right. And here's the second one. All right. Doing great so far. There's two more that we need to do. doing ah mr cooper no doubt you believed a reversal would pull the old bird apart eh <laughs> but it seems to have had quite the opposite effect i'm truly grateful when fully powered up i'll join myself to its circuit and be born anew all this because you can't fly you're pathetic immortality immortality is what i seek the other Claw Gang members were much too short-sighted. They were satisfied using the clockwork parts to drive their various trivial schemes. But not me. No. I saw them for what they really were. The keys to life eternal. So, what? You had Neela put me on the scent back in Cairo, and then waited while I stole the parts from the other Claw Gang members. All the while not arousing any suspicion that you were behind it all? You make it sound easy, Cooper. I had to carry your pathetic gang through that first set of heists. I was overjoyed when Arpeggio let me toss you in jail. I could finally go after the parts myself. Ah, but acquiring all the parts was only half the equation. Think, Cooper. What kept Clockwork alive for thousands of years? He was fueled by his hatred for my family. Splendid! That's right! Hatred! Putting his gears and wires together was child's play, compared with accumulating that much hatred. You can't make people hate. Oh, my poor naive boy. My meticulous mind has found a way. As your hippopotamus friend will attest, spice consumption makes you both angry and susceptible to hypnosis. The Contessa, Hypnotist Extraordinaire, devised a way to command people through the use of flashing lights. I've created this blimp to be a massive transmitter of those precise light frequencies. The only problem I faced was finding a suitable source of light waves. The Northern Lights. You've been collecting Northern Light energy so you could hypnotize everyone beneath the blimp. Ah, hypnotize those who've eaten food covered in illegal spice. Thank goodness for Dimitri. Through his nightclub, he got the whole city to consume the spice. You're going to Paris to unleash a hypnotic light show of hate. That's outlandishly cruel. Cruel, perhaps, but necessary to give Clockwork his spark of immortality. Ah well, my new body awaits me. Be a dear, Neela, and keep him covered. Ta-ta! Stupid arpeggio. I double-crossed the Cooper gang, Interpol, and Carmelita. What made you think I wouldn't do the same to you? This is preposterous! You're my protege, not the next candidate for my immortality. I demand you exit the clockwork frame or... Or...
though, things are looking grim. Neela has joined herself to the clockwork frame, and the Union has produced Flakla. She's out, and free to terrorize the world. This blimp is still in motion to Paris. I can only assume Arpeggio's autopilot will activate the hate hypnosis light show. If that happens, there will be no stopping Flakla. She'll be immortal. But we still have a chance. In her new form, she'll need to draw a lot of energy from this blimp's engines to stay strong. If we can disable the engines, that should be enough to weaken her to a state in which we can attack. Getting at these engines will require all three of us to work together in perfect harmony. We pulled off some tough jobs in the past. But they were just a warm-up round for what we'll be going through tonight. Ah, <sighs> bye, yeah, bye, yeah, bye, yeah, bye, yeah, bye. Jeez. Seriously? <laughs> to go to, the one that Bentley needs to go to, and two that Sly needs to go to. I'm busy! Take your position. It's not gonna take me long to lighten these guys of their keys. I did not want to go to this mission. Uh abandoned job. Yes, abandoned. Alright, so it's the further one that I need to go to. T charged TNT run. some heavy explosives, Bentley, because that engine isn't small. It just so happens that there's a ready supply of explosives already available on the blimp. Lock one of these TNT barrels up to that engine room to destroy it. Sounds easy enough. What's the catch? The initial payload in that TNT barrel won't be powerful enough to do the job. If you pick up three magnetic chargers, you should achieve the necessary blast force to destroy the engine. It's simple, really. Just get close to the chargers, and they'll automatically attach to your barrel. All right, let's blow stuff up. All right, let's blow stuff up. Alright. 
one charger over here. Too bad you can't run in these TNT barrels. That sucks. It kind of sucks. Alright. Now, which way to the next one? Uh, I need to go both ways. Hold on, wait. Oh. I need to go all the way over here first. to go and get that first. Since that one's right here. Alright, there's two. There's a bottle on top of this thing. See you later, sucker. How much hard guarded is this thing? He stopped. I'm going to wait until you turn around. At 
least I start here. At least that was a checkpoint. I'm so glad, because I hate this mission. I know I've said I hate a lot of missions in Sly 2, but overall I think the game is really good. Even though I don't, don't like certain missions, the entire game itself just enjoy- make, I enjoyed too much to care. Hey, they broke it. And it's still there. My gosh! Again, same exact freaking thing happened. With the TNT barrel all charged up, it's time to deliver the payload to that engine. Ugh. Why is this so difficult? gonna run into the barrel and say hey there's someone in here or stay here until I move I hate this programming come on move come on Move your butt. See? Told you. Uh, that's why I hate this man, because every guard does that. Every guard. I want to blow you to smithereens so badly. I'm going to wait until you turn around. that engine to use job complete sly cooper well that's it <laughs> so this has been psychic pictures and i'll see you guys next time